we'll solve some problems in plane surfaces. The first one I've uh, given here, an equilateral triangular lamina of 25 millimeter side lies with one of its edges on HP, such that the surface of the lamina is inclined to HP at 60 degrees. The edge on which it rests is inclined to VP at 60 degrees, draw the projections. If you carefully study the entire data given the problem, it clearly says that triangular lamina is resting on the edge, not on the corner. Please note that it is resting on the edge of the lamina, not on the corner of the lamina. And the entire surface is inclined to HP at 60 degrees, whereas the standing side is inclined to VP at 60 degrees. I give a standard rule that always you should perform the surface inclines the first step, side inclines the second step. The answer goes in this manner for change of position method. Initially keep the lamina in this manner. To your left have a one of the edge, one of the side perpendicular XY line. Draw the top view and front view. This is what is called as the initial position. When the surface inclined HP is taught the figure in the HP, I have given a note already. The very first step, make the surface inclined to HP at 60 degrees. The front view will be a line in the VP, but the top view will be a smaller triangle, upper triangle smaller than the original triangle. It is standing on the side. Next, the standing side is inclined to VP. The upper triangle inclined to VP at 60 degrees. Draw the final front view again, it will have an upper triangle. So, when the surface is inclined to HPVP, how does the upper end figures arise in the top view front we are going to discuss with you. Same steps I am going to draw on the sheet now. It is a 25 millimeter equilateral triangle. Left hand side, draw edge, 25 mm edge, perpendicular x y line, the follow me. Draw here 25, 25, 25, triangular lamina triangular lamina 25 and 25 25 let me name this as a b c all the three corners i'll dimension this it is an equilateral triangle of 25 millimeter side it is an equilateral triangle of 25 millimeter side 2 pi project to draw the front view draw the projectors from a b c all the corners it is lying on hp initial position we have the front view here lying on HP. You find B and A happens to coincide, B dash, A dash with the brackets, whereas C dash, initial push is ready. The very first step is surface inclined to HP by 60 degrees. A, the front view, make the front view inclined at an angle of 60 degrees, leaving a small gap here. Measure B dash to C dash, draw B dash, C dash here, at an angle of 60 degrees. B dash C dash here at an angle of 60 degrees. This will be again B dash. We have here A dash that is C dash. This angle is a 60 degree angle. 60 degree angle. Surface inclined HP. When you redraw the front view here, the length of the front view here, the length of the front view here both are same. You project now to get the new top view. When the surface inclined HP, how does the top view appear here? You draw the projectors from all the corners into HP. Draw the projectors from all the corners into HP. Having drawn the projectors from the previous top view, you draw the locus lines. You draw the locus lines from the previous top view. The projected locus line, the intersect here, we have here A to A, B intercept B, C intercept C. Join them in order A, B, B, C, and then C, A. A, B, B, C and C, A. We have the triangle. This is an apparent triangle, apparent figure, apparent top view. This is actually true shape of the triangle. This I can say apparent shape of the triangle, smaller than the true shape. You can make out here, the lamina is resting on HP with A dash, B dash is the side. C dash is the corner. C dash is above HP. On HP is A, B. That means A, B is on HP. Uh, the problem clearly says here, the standing side is inclined to VP at 60 degrees. We are given a standard rule, surface inclines the first step, side inclines the second step. So redraw the same figure, redraw the apparent 
triangle here at an angle of 60 degrees it can be rightward or leftward I'm just drawing here redrawing here at an angle of 60 degrees. leave a small gap here draw a line here at an angle of 60 degrees a 60 degree angle measure out this triangle on this measure AB with the compasses measure AB mark AB on the 60 degree line measure AB mark AB on the 60 degree line locate the midpoint here locate the midpoint and draw here a perpendicular draw here a perpendicular measure this altitude C mark the altitude C here we get here C we get here C we have here A B and then C join them in order A B then we have B C then C A A B B C C A join them in order so it is reproduced this is A B at an angle of 60 degrees now project to get the front view, final front view, draw the projectors from all the corners, draw the projectors from all the corners into VP, draw here locus lines. You find C and C will intersect here, C dash, A and A intersect here, A dash, B and B intersect here, B dash. Join them in order, A, B, B, C, then C, upper and front view, upper and front view. The final answer you can just see here. The triangular lamina I have drawn on HP initial figure. Surface inclined HP. First step, side inclined VP. Second step, all the pressures are all the positions are shown here. Change of position method to get the final answer. This is the procedure to draw the given problem by change of position method. Then drawing these figures, one rule we have to follow. When you change the position of front view to the given angle pin to pin, dot to dot, you must have the same size. When you draw this triangle, apparent triangle to the given angle here, 60 degrees, again pin to pin, dot to dot, you must have the same size. When you project the new front view, we get the top view. When you project the new top view, you get the front view. That's the final answer. So this is a prop completely solved with this method. When a lamina is standing on HP by the side, and the standing side is inclined to VP at 60 degree angle.